let's move on to New Zealand, uh, the country whose major form of transportation is bungee jumping. <laughs> their, their Prime Minister, John Key, has had a spectacular week. Peter, a very unusual story breaking here this morning. It involves the Prime Minister, a ponytail and some Pinot Noir. <laughs> that is the single greatest news tease I've ever heard. <laughs> Just take a moment right now at home and imagine a story in which those three things come together and I guarantee you what you've just come up with is a lot less weird than what actually happened. John Key has apologised to an Auckland waitress who says he behaved like a bully by repeatedly pulling her ponytail when he came to the place where she worked. To give you a sense of the detail of what she describes, she says, um, he'd come up behind me when I was ordering at the terminal, tug on my hair and then pretend that his wife Brona had done it. She says that that he rounded the corner behind me and commented one time, that's a very tantalising ponytail. Oh! <laughs> if you are a full-grown adult male, there's a very short list of things that you can describe as tantalising without creeping out everyone. There is steak, and that is absolutely it. That's it. <laughs> that's the only thing. And the crazy thing here is, it turns out this had been going on for a while. The woman, who's not been identified, says it began in November. She told him to stop in March, but he continued to do it. She tried to avoid him, even telling his security, she was sick of having my hair pulled and one day I'll snap and I'll punch him in the face. <laughs> and why do I get the feeling that his security guard's reaction was, oh, please do, that would be awesome. <laughs> We're not allowed to, but we want to. But, but, but wait, just wait until you hear his explanation for a grown man pulling a waitress's hair. There's always horsing, lots of horsing around and sort of practical jokes and, uh, you know, look, that, that's really all there is to it. I realised she had actually taken offence because it was all in the context of a, a bit of banter that was going on uh, and so I, you know, obviously immediately apologised for that. I gave her some mind. She thanked me for that, said, look, that's all fine, no drama. Look, <laughs> no drama. You, you, can't, you can't just pull someone's hair for months, then make it all good with a bottle of wine. You're the Prime Minister of New Zealand, not a real housewife of New Jersey. <laughs> but amazingly, this story gets one step weirder, because then people went back and found other clips of him randomly touching strangers' hair, <laughs> including this one of him pulling a child's ponytail. Yeah, OK, well, that's good. That's very sweet. Do you know who this man is? Yeah. Who is he? A ponytail-pulling Prime Minister right there. What are you doing? John Key can't pass any dangling hair without pouring at it. He's more cats than Prime Minister at this point. And the problem is, this completely undermines his authority during any diplomatic negotiations. I, we'd uh, very much like you to end the sanctions. Yeah, we're not going to do that, and I'll tell you why. You're a creepy individual who pulls women's hair. Oh, yeah, that's a fair point, makes sense. I'll show myself out, bit of bin to no drama. <laughs> and finally... Finally this week... Uh...